This isn't going to be easy. You are restricted in what you can use to cook. Ceramics are microwave proof. Turns out I can make instant mashed potato. Thank God for that. <laughs> it's not cooking. You've I will cook it in a minute. What is this? 2023, it's like you boys have given up. No, no, no. That's definitely a fire. This is chaos. Oh, where's my kettle? I don't know what beeps are my beeps. Mine's gonna burn now. This is your fault. Hello everyone, now today our three normal home cooks are going to create a dish using only a kettle, a toaster and a microwave. This isn't going to be easy, you are restricted in what you can use to cook, but I'm pretty sure you'll be alright. That is misplaced confidence. No, we can do this. Right. This okay. is going to be amazing. I Fine. can do this. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> it was, we can do this, we can do this, I can do this. I can do yeah. this. So I'll whack 30 minutes on the clock. Off you go. What's interesting in this particular episode is that the boys are doing this solo. These recipes have not been developed by the food team. This is the kind of challenge that if you're in a little bed sit or a studio flat, maybe you've just checked into an Airbnb, you're in student halls, the kind of places that have limited, if any, hob or oven, you can still plug in a basic kitchen top appliance and away you go. Jay, what are you making? Ebers, I'll give you three guesses of what I'm making. Well, you're holding a tagine. And what's going to go into that tagine? Tagine-like ingredients? A lamb tagine. Excellent. I've got lamb mince, crispy fried onions, ginger, garlic, tomato paste, load of spices, little bit of water because the lamb mince is quite fatty. I'm going to mix that all up. It's going into the microwave for six minutes. I'm then going to serve that with a fruity and herby couscous. Uh, pickled red onions ah. and flatbreads. Wow. One question, a tagine works wonderfully over an open fire in an oven. What does a tagine do if you put it in the microwave? Uh, ceramics are microwave proof. Okay. We hope we've not tested it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I would love it if that explodes. <laughs> Brace yourself, because I am making a ham leek and mushroom pie. Excellent. I've never cooked pastry in a microwave. Exactly. So what and kind of pie is it? You need to rethink your perception of what a pie is. Think shepherd's pie or cottage pie. What does that have on the top? Do you mind if I think fish pie? You can do whatever you like, fine. But yes. <laughs> What does it have on the top? It's mashed potato. Exactly. I am subbing out, because I can't cook pastry with these three things, I'm subbing out the pastry top for a mashed potato top. I've got mushrooms and leeks sprayed with oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and now I'm going to microwave them until they start to, well, until they cook. You do normally cover everything in the microwave, now I'm really confused. Let's try two minutes and see what's happening. Yeah, it turns out I can make instant mashed potato. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> right, gonna need more of that. I'm using instant mash for a top. I'm using mushroom soup for the filling. I'm using, re I'm rehydrating porcini mushrooms for umami. I'm bulking out the dish with fresh mushrooms and leeks. And then I'm sprinkling the top with panko breadcrumbs and cheese. Baz, Hello. we're a few minutes in. What are you making? I'm making barbecued tamarind salmon. Oh, tacos. Oh, oh. So we've got some sashimi grey salmon here because these are, I want them to be slightly pink in the middle. Bianqui. Oui. Uh, and uh, I'm, then, I'm also then making the tamarind uh, paste to go with it. Tamarind, chilli, lime and palm sugar. It's not very tagini. Not very tagini? <laughs> Looks very ad lib, Jay. <laughs> it's just made it in the Tupperware. What? Well, it didn't see. Save a bowl. I like. I like it. I, Save I approve. A bowl. You're making. You're making kush kush, and you're making kush kush. <laughs> no. <Magic fans. laughs> what is this? I don't know what beeps are my beeps. I think you're the only one cooking. No, there was another beep over there. Here's a beep. <laughs> Mustard in there. You've had half your time. 
need to make my soup. Are you going to make it in another bowl or are you going to make it in the bowl you've already got your filling in? I think that's risky. How would you make uh, a pie filling if it was in a pan? Well, yeah, I'd do it all in the pan, but I'm not, I've, ne I'm, like, I've actually never made this before, so I, and I, it needs to be a very specific. If I pour water on this in that and it ruins it, then this is your fault. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Once that is piping hot, I'm going to drizzle it over my salmon to start cooking it. Baz, one question. You're pouring a little bit of hot sauce over a fair amount of cold salmon in a cold bowl. I don't need to cook this thing the way through because I'll be finishing cooking it later. Oh, okay, that changes everything. I've got a barbecue, a barbecue salmon skewer, haven't I, Ben? You've only got 14 minutes left. <laughs> oh, you're not chopping, you're just going in. <laughs> hey, honestly, 2023, it's like you boys have given up. <laughs> So far, my idea of a tagine is something with lots of liquid and vegetables, a little bit of meat and bone to beef it up. But yours is just meat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tagine has had six minutes in the microwave. It's been stirred every couple of minutes. That is cooked. I've got red wine vinegar, demerara sugar, and a sliced red onion in the microwave to create a quick pickle. Only thing left to do after that is toast my flatbreads. I'm thinking I might do something slightly different to what I had originally planned, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm covering a plate in panko and adding some Parmesan to the top as well. I'll microwave with that. This is gonna be an experiment. We're gonna see what happens. I'm also gonna spritz it with some oil so that it almost fries. This is too, why is this so angry? That gets hot, doesn't it? This is chaos. No, 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 no! <laughs> is there any more toaster? Because we're gonna be a little bit screwed. Mine's gonna burn now, because it's trapping all the heat in. That's not a toaster now, that's an oven. But no, no, they're burning, look, you burnt my bloody... My salmon needs a crunch, so I've got panko breadcrumbs, sesame seeds, a little bit of veg oil into the microwave. Four minutes! Yeah, you could cancel it rather, because now the, uh, the toast is still cooking. I it? need it on raging, because that's also my barbecue in a minute. Excuse me. Stick the salt. So Baz, your salmon is marinating. It's not cooking. You've I will cook it in a minute! <laughs> Right, now I've got to just dress my salad. I've got some watercress here, and I'm going to dress in some tahini and some miso and some hot water. Where's my kettle? Jay's looking good. He's starting to plate up with two minutes left. So my filling's now going into my pie dish. I've seasoned it. I'm happy. It's good. Apparently. Well, how about I could do this? When, how was that ever going to work? Remember, Barry, you're on your own for this one. <laughs> I, put, I no. put salmon in the toaster. There is no way that's But maybe not all of them, in case it doesn't work. <laughs> salmon in the toaster. No, I've got enough free hands. Right, right go, go, go. plate up. That's definitely a four-way hazard. Salmon's coming out of the toaster. Oh, look at that! I'm happy with that. 20 seconds. <laughs> God, it's really hot. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Step back from your microwave toaster and kettle concoctions. Let's get these into the sexies <laughs> and put that toaster out.
of these challenges is to prove that delicious food can come out of simple appliances. When all three of you are doing together, it's obviously a bit chaotic, but I am already impressed at three very different ideas again. Do you want to start with food poisoning? So, <laughs> it'll be fine. Can we see if Ebbers thinks it's edible first? Has that had any heat applied to it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's sashimi, right? Perfect. Mm. It's okay to serve this quality salmon like that. It was glazed with a hot marinade and then barely toasted, mm -hmm. but it was kind of unique. The flavour, however, is incredible. The flavour's great. It's really good. The lime, the palm sugar, the tang, the little bit of chilli and garlic. Next time, I reckon another minute in the toaster would be perfect. <laughs> it's so good, mate. I'm so... I can't believe it. Cheers. 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 Mm, it tastes damn good. Oh. You've got all of those spices we love of that North African cuisine. That is a delicious bowl of meat. <laughs> Couscous is fruity and herby, which is what you said it would be. Mm -hmm. It is meaty. It is a feast for two or three. I like the fact you've saved it with lots of fresh herbs. Not saved it, that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Balanced it with lots of fresh herbs. I, I heard that, I caught that one. <laughs> yep. I like the idea of also serving all that meat on that bread mm. with some yoghurt and that's it. The spicing is good, it's different <laughs> and I'd be very chuffed if that came out of a microwave mm. in a little bed set or studio flat. That is true. Or an Airbnb where you're limited with yeah. equipment. Great job. Mm. I saw this one being created and I knew it was going to taste like that, which is delicious. Mm. Mustard, you've got the mushroom from the dried mushrooms and the whole mushrooms, you've got a lot of the smash, which is very smooth. You've got the cheese, you've got the crunch. And you've got the cheat of kind of MSG from the sauce, which is a hack and a flavour bomb. The leek's got a slight crunch to it, maybe a slight too much. Oh. But other than that, oh, yeah. I struggle to... That's a little noise, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I tried them, I was like, I think those leeks are perfect. It just goes to show. No, I mean, it's all subjective. My but shortcomings. I, for me, they just got a bit too much of a bite to them. I like it. Mm. Thanks, Jay. I like it. That is out of the box thinking and absolutely delicious. That is big and bold, quite familiar in flavours. Oh, good. <laughs> and that, no, I want <laughs> Sorry, the print and pause was unfair. And that, if I'm honest, is something I just want to sit and eat with a spoon and be very, very happy. It's a, it's a bowl of comfort. With that in mind, I've got to pick a winner. And we often go with a loser as well. Yeah, that's only fair. It's no, always the, right. that's the best one. But I'm going to go and say, yes, there is a winner, but there are two second places. I, there, I literally couldn't pick a loser. I like them all for very different reasons. But for me today, there is a winner. And for me today, that is... Barry. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but it tastes so good and is so weird to cook in a toaster, and yet it has worked. The weird thing is, I wouldn't recommend you do it at home. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not up to me. Comment down below, which do you think was the most impressive meal to come out of a microwave, a toaster, and a kettle? I'll be making these two at home quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're looking for quick and speedy microwave recipes, then check out our Sidekick app. It's free for 30 days.